and the planes used to come in and they were they were the short bus and they'd come in the car and talk for it. You could see them. I was like, stop calling it that. Well, I used to go up to Lurgan and I I lived here in Chambersburg, so not a lot of kids got bus the whole way from Chambersburg to Lurgan. So of course you were on the short bus with all the other kids that had to be bussed in for special reasons. <laughs> God damn it. See, I can't talk and count. I shouldn't have bought this there. I can't not bring it. Have you learned to memorize it yet? I have memorized it. Except for I wasn't paying attention. It doesn't help. You know where I was running into problems is on the short <clears> rows, <throat> figuring out where I was. Like if I stopped and I was on those little short rows, I'd pick it up and it was like, what am I doing now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a big issue when the very first day I took it to work with me, uh, I, I'm i sitting there in the morning meeting. I somehow started on a row that I should have had a bead on it at the very last, but I didn't, so I thought I should just be going backwards. So I had to undo it back. When I got back there, somehow I dropped two stitches, like two rows down. I was like, I'm not <laughs> pulling out two rows. Better just pull them yeah. suckers up. I don't know how you did like 19 repeats and then ripped it all back because no, mm -mm. Laura, or whatever your name is, Karen. It, you know what? It didn't See? bother me. This is, my, where's the hole? That's what she said, too. <laughs> I'm showing them my scarf. And where's Dallas? I had all of the, the body of it done, and I pulled that out, too. Da oh, I don't want to lose your spot. And Dallas's is looser, because Dallas is loose. loose. See her red beads? That's actually a little... Karen's almost done, so I am. I'm gonna find off. Karen can kiss my ass. Is what Karen can do. Uh, Karen had to redo short rows yesterday because I just, like I'm knitting along and I'm like, how come this side's way longer than the other side? Are you only doing them on one side? No, I passed right over the uh, and, and kept going. And, then came to like some weird thing that was just two stitches that were close together, and I was like, oh, this is them, and then I picked it up, and, because I was doing the shadow wrap thing. With the shadow wrap. It's, I think it's a lot easier than doing the short rows. Okay, if I'm coming this way and I'm doing a shadow wrap on the right side, I, well, yeah, okay, if I'm doing it on the right side. We're pick learning shadow up, wraps. <laughs> pick this up, this, the row under it, Actually, this would be like wrong side because it's like the pearl bomber. Slip that over, pick this up, pearl it. That was the shit. Easier. That's not easier. Yes, yeah. it is. And then you just slip those back over, and then the next time when you come around, you just knit those two together. See, I I do short rows all the time for the heels of my socks. So yeah. it's just it's only second. Is that what we're supposed to do with that right turn thingy? Because that's what I've been I'm gonna doing. have to focus on your boob to, to, to wrap make it brighter. Yeah. Okay. I just wrap it and then when mm. I bring it back around, I just slip it and knit the next one and keep going with the pattern. Seems to be okay. She, the way that she had me do it, or Karen no, taught me, was to it slip it and then knit it. So you're I knitting six. I just wrapped it. Kept going. It's fine. I figured at this look point, bad. what? Yeah, you're making it your own. I'm trying to see if I can see it. I don't think so. No, you can. Like, it makes that little tiny hole right there. Mm. But There's think, a bigger hole right next to it, so yeah. it well, and Oh, I see. Really like, right along there. What you're supposed to get yeah. is that hole there anyway, see? That's true. Mine's so... Like, oh, no, I have a hole, too. This is the We all have holes. Yeah. Yours is... Yeah. I don't think that I... Oh, is that on the... It's but, like right next to your... In, yeah. Yeah. Is it not my imagination, but she should have had a better glossary? Yeah, I a think lot of words, words should have been better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just started reading, because it came up in this Facebook group, about the mystic... Is it Mystic Yarn Company? Is it Mystic Connecticut? No, it's no. Like Mysterious Colors Yarn or something. Apparently, this goes back like six years ago. This woman was selling this indie dyed yarn. Uh -huh. And she was selling it cheap. And then she got like, too big for what she could do. And started taking orders but not filling them. And then not com communicating. And then people were complaining because the stuff they were getting didn't look anything like what they ordered. Or they got to wash it and it would completely run. 
house that wasn't being set. So there was like all these complaints. Apparently the woman eventually ended up faking her death. Oh my god. Oh yes. Yes. That was a famous thread on LSG. Oh yeah. Yeah. I started reading this and I'm like, okay, this is getting bizarre. Because there's this other woman who just did this Kickstarter where she she raised like $25,000 to make her business bigger and then went on this rant about how people are, what you call it, cold sheeping. Yeah. And it's hurting her bottom line and she thinks that's really wrong that people are doing that. And she went on and on with this rant and people are like, it's my choice. You, you telling me like what to spend my money on? I promise you. For as many people as are cold sheeping, there's a sheep on who are not. And there's a sheep who are going to break it. Yeah, and I'm re sheeping. And there yep. were a lot of people who were just like, you know, people just spent $25,000 for yeah. you. Yeah, funding your. What are you doing to this? And, and then she later issued this apology that is like, sounded like it was written by Josh Ertz from the White House. <laughs> I'm sorry, I. <laughs> it was really, really stupid. I never heard of cold shipping before. It's not fun. Apparently, you just don't mm. buy anything. Well, yeah, you I've you only knit from your stash that's for a year. What I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in year? Who's in year? Where did year come in? That's the that's the LSG's goal. I'm not doing that ever. Just a moment. Shit. I'm lucky if the thing I bought for a certain project stays in that project. What have I just done, guys? Okay. I, I need somebody with really good Pearl, Google knit, knit, to knit, find knit, me a picture two, of two, the um, Franklin County show from last night. Hold on. I can look it up. I have tried and tried to find a picture of that. All right. What is it? Oh, dirt. It's the Friends Through Fiber Friends from the PA Farm Show. Okay, so when are we doing this? Obviously, I cannot. When are we doing what? Um, let's shoot the oh, shawl. Shoot the shawl. We'll have to be. Well, we've got to get Casey and Dave first. Dave has a wheel. Yeah. By the way, that's. Yeah. Does, he, not, does he have the group wheel? No. No, I do it. And it, it was a wheel that I had originally bought, and everyone complained so much about that kicky one that I was like, does everyone want me to just donate this for a while? And then no one ever used it. And I was like, okay, this is pointless. It just sitting here in a box. <laughs> but you are more than welcome to use it. I just didn't want to continue to take up yarn space in my house. Sure. I see pictures of the team. Oh, we have to have outfits. I want outfits. <gasps> yes, they do. They have, like, Baseball every year, outfits. Like, well, that's not this. That was last year's. All right, I'm going to have to get... Oh, shit. No, so when you're doing the... I see an old shawl, but that can't be this. No. You said it was a whole scene, right? Yes. I've not seen this year's. Maybe they no, 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 no. I don't need it. it. I don't need it. I got it. Maybe they haven't finished this year's one enough to take a picture of it. Well, I mean, it was there. They auctioned it off last yeah. night. I don't see one, though. I know. I haven't been able to find it, which has frustrated the hell out of me because that thing was so. Beautiful. I think I see the warp, and if that's the warp for it, that's beautiful. It's not that there's one that's we have painted to do that's this. like purple. <laughs> yeah, I see blues. those. I think it's not this, that one. Oh, okay, that's not good. This one is like blues and golds and blues. This is, it's actually a painting. Yeah. What's it called? What? Who knitted it? The Franklin County? See, I don't it's, think we're ever going to win, but I think that was called the um, Friends Through Fiber. Friends Through Fiber. And they're the Franklin County. Oh, I can't. I'm making my 10 minute video of us <laughs> talking about everything and anything. Give me your thing and I'll do it. <clears throat> but, um, uh, I think we could do it. We have enough. I mean, we have some. We have some weavers. We have a lot of spinners. We just need a shear and a, and a lamp. Oh, there was one shear. He must have been so nervous. Everybody else was already spinning, and he was still Aww. shearing. And I like he had to actually shut the, the clippers off at one point and, and like take a break and get the sheep. Rearranged, and then he turned him back on, but he wasn't holding him right, and the clippers were spinning like this. Like, oh. Wait, how do they do? So, 
I've seen sheep to shawl, but not like at one time. How do they knit a shawl? They don't. Oh, they weave it. it. Oh, I was gonna say. See, my only my only picture is that it will be a raw fleece, and it better not be a gummy fleece. Well, see, they they purposely choose fleeces that aren't gummy. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a big part of it. Yeah. That would be my only thing, like. Um, they used, a couple used Shetlands, they had some beautiful black fleeces. A couple used Shetlands, um, and then a lot of border lusters. Which are like a nice amount of grease without being greasy. Are those, is that white BFL is? No, that's blue face luster. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Don't worry, you'll get into all that stuff. No, I won't. Yes, you will. No, I will. Is, I will. I love BFL. It is so watch. shiny. Actually, a lot of wool is so nice. Do not do fiber press though. <laughs> oh my Can God. you get it like all, all yeah. prepared and then you yeah. just okay? Because yeah. that was what I was worried about. Yeah, I'm no. like, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna be in there washing it and doing the hose <laughs> and losing my fingers because Dallas is bloody, you know. So no, I'm get my tetanus shot. You do Actually, you should anyway. Yeah. You you probably want that in general with small boys. I love whatever. Well, I have my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's <this is> true. <laughs> Nothing to do with fleece fiber. <laughs> Just small children in general need a good. I think when I, I first do my, my like or whatever. I um <clears throat> I remember like going to Ravelry and going like I just don't even know what to do here or how to do these and the clothes are really sharp and scary. I was like, oh, it's not a big deal. It's really really easy and don't worry about it. And then it was like the last sentence of like it's really really easy and don't worry was oh make sure that your tetanus is up to date. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now I will be honest. I do love it. I love it. I love my fiber equipment. They just don't love me. I have to. I have to search slow. If. I start. And I wouldn't recommend the drum I got. I think I think I just don't like my drum. <laughs> it has it has two different drums and the one drum is all like normal carding cloth. Uh -huh. The other one literally has just ends of blades sticking out of it. It's one of the ones they sell up at um the Manning. Oh. See, and the first time I reached I in there after this year and they oh. give me the twenty twelve pictures. Oh my god, that was years ago. Two. Two years ago. Three. Okay. Have you not gone to the farm show? It's amazing. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh you know, Karen. I just can't be bothered. To, like, Actually, I can't either. <laughs> it is freezing ass cold, but only between the parking lot and the building. The building is really warm and, then and you, comfy. And then you and have then, a, a jacket that you have to lug around with. No, they have a uh, coat jacket at the one gate. Then you can pay for someone to watch your coat for you. If you push a stroller, because <laughs> you're going to buy shit. Just, just, I have lots of strollers. And there will be I at least one strand that has fiber, and you will be yeah. convinced that you should buy fiber. There is. They have the alpacas all set up. They actually sell fiber there? Yeah, uh -huh. people set up. I did not know this. Potato donuts. I've never even heard of potato donuts. Yeah. I had neither until I got there, and they're amazing. Yeah. But there's a lot of people, like a lot, yes. and it's annoying. And it's cold. I have family that lives up in Harrisburg, and I can't be bothered to go. I would actually have to throw a bunch of people. You know how I get in crowds. Well, there's a lot on the weekends. It might be better if you go Is it like that, that during I'm the week. I'm already excited for Real <clears throat> and Sheep and Wool. Real and Sheep and Wool is not till like <laughs> Like talking about other fairs, I'm like, can I go to Maryland Sheep and Wool yet? <laughs> You have problems. I do. I'm already like saving money for it. Yeah. That's okay. I have been like seriously laying in bed at night and thinking, how can we make this road trip actually happen? Like, right? yeah. I'm like, I could take the boys and tour during the summer and I will just drop them in Texas with their grandparents. It's their summer. Let's see, it has to be, well. Well, that was my time. I would drop them at, at their grandparents. Because their grandparents are always like, oh, we want to hear them all the time. I'm like, ha, 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 really? Well, there you go. You may. And then I will just continue on out of the state. I've, I've got it marked in the calendar when they will each turn 18. Yeah. <laughs> I will return them. <laughs> Okay, this was the chocolate one. Okay, I think 15 minutes is enough. Bye, guys. 15 minutes. Two weeks.
Bye.